Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shane Dublin, and this is part of my Mechanism mini-series. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use transport pipes and how to use factories. So, transport pipes are pretty easy to use. They're much like pipes from other mods. This is a basic transport, or logistical transport pipe. You simply attach it to the inventories you want, and it pulls stuff out of the chest. You need to have it on pull mode, you shift right click with the configurator and it changes. For example, I have this one keeping this furnace full of coal. So you can cook chicken whenever you want. Next up is a logistical sorter. And the logistical sorter can pull stacks of items at a time. So you put a whole bunch of items in here and it will start pulling them. You have to turn it on though. So you turn auto eject on and it starts pulling them. Now, uh, as you can see, it's splitting the items in half. That is because I have round, ro round robin mode on. If I were to turn that off, it would put it into the closest chest. See, none of them are going down there. But what would happen if this chest is full? And this chest is also full. Will it pull items? It will pull items because there's another chest over here. This is a restrictive pipe. I think that's what it's called. Restrictive transporter. It only lets items through if there are no other places to go. So if I have a space here, it will put it in there. But if I don't have any space, it's going to put it into this chest, as you can see. So yeah. Up next we have factories. We have three different types of factories. We have basic factories, advanced factories, and elite factories. Factories are like having multiple blocks in the same block, multiple machines in the same machine. So this is a smelting factory. It's like having three energized smelters in one block. It does everything three times as fast. Five times as fast. Seven times as fast. It's pretty simple. Now, you can configure these in a couple different ways. You open up the configuration, and you can change the sides to do different things. Each of these colors represents, represents a slot. So you have the orange, blue, red. Mainly, you're just going to be using blue and red. So the red is the input, the blue is the output. I have red in the back and blue on the side red in the back, blue on the side, and then on this one I have red on the side and blue on the other side. Now you want to have auto eject on, else it won't eject to the next machine. And you also want to have auto sort on. I'll show you what auto sort does. Auto sort keeps them like that. If they're not on, then it doesn't auto sort and it can go slower because it's not using all three machines. So if you load these up, you can see it will put them into the chests and it's faster. Now you can upgrade these machines even further besides just putting them into giving them more slots. You can put speed upgrades and energy upgrades in there. If I actually hit the right spot. Energy upgrades help a lot and I highly recommend putting them in. You can see how much less energy it uses. It cuts it way down. You can also put speed upgrades in them which increases the energy cost tremendously, but it also makes it go much faster. Now this, this, this machine uses three times as much energy as a normal smelting factory because it does it three times as fast, so each slot adds like another machine's power usage. That's a ton of power. It's using 15 kilojoules of power. You don't want that. So you put the speed upgrades or the energy upgrades in there and it will use much less power. This one is using 5 joules of power to power 3 or 15. So that's using hardly any power at all, but it's also really slow. So put the speed upgrades in there and it makes it go faster. And this, these machines can get really fast. Put the sword on. Put auto eject on not moving it over because 
I don't have the right color on there, so red. And it just pumps them out, put sword on. And it sorts them all out. And it just starts churning out iron. So that's basically how you use machines. But one more cool thing is you can change the type of machine without using it. So you have a smeltery or osmium compressor, for example. You can just shove an osmium compressor into this, for example. Oh, I just deleted it. Well, put it in there, and it will swap out the machines. So now it has an osmium compressor in there instead, and you can just trade it out. And I am not very good at clicking it. I have any ions that keeps deleting my items. Okay. Up next we have the two of those processes put together. You can add filters. To add the filter, you grab your item that you need. You go to new filter, item stack, iron, and then you select the color. I have mine as dark blue because that's the color of these. You can change the color of these by shift right clicking on them. Dark blue. And it will pull the items out. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but it will not pull items out behind this until all the sand is done. And I spent a long time trying to figure it out, and it just doesn't seem to be working. Like, it seems to only want to do one item at a time before it'll switch to the next one. So I don't know if that's a bug or if it's intentional, but that's how it works right now. And that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment selection. Make sure you follow me on YouTube and Twitch. Appreciate you guys watching this. See you later. Bye.